Good evening, YouTubers. Welcome back in to another edition of Astros Recap. David Artis back at it. Another week down and out. Here we go. Astros, very good week for the team as they go 6-1. and one. Sounds right. Yep, they swept Detroit Monday through Wednesday. And they took 3 of 4 from Oakland. And as I say that, I meant to actually check the record against Oakland because that season series has wrapped up. So maybe that's something I'm going to have to do here very shortly as I pull out the phone here. The Astros, before I get to that, improved the record to now 96-51. and 51. That's very satisfying, at least to this point. So, I mean, they'll win 100 games. Um, how many? Or how many games they win in total will be interesting to see here. Uh, their magic number, I believe, is down to two. So, I mean, if they win tomorrow, they've clinched a playoff spot. That was a foregone conclusion. The division's been a foregone conclusion as well, but just sort of counting down the games here. Uh, they win tomorrow, and Seattle loses if they play. I haven't really looked at the schedule tomorrow, but uh, we would wrap it up tomorrow if that's the, if that, if that's the case. So we'll just wait and see. You know, Seattle's still fighting for, you know, wild card spot. Looks like they'll be able to do that. We'll wait and see, obviously. <laughs> so, but yeah, we'll wrap up the division at some point this week. So, expect a few losses in there. Uh, it's usually money in the bank if you count on the, the, a team that clinches the day they clinch. They always lose the following day. It's just, it's, it's a forget. Like, if you're a betting person, and I do bet, but not on baseball, um, if you're out there and you're a sports gambler, baseball gambler, pick like the Dodgers just did it. They clinched their division and then they lost the next day. So like, that's just easy money in the bank if you want my opinion. So, um, so when the Astros clinch their division, which will be at some point this week, um, especially if it's off a win, like you can clinch your division if Seattle loses twice, but the Astros win and they clinch the division. It's usually the day after your sort of champagne celebration at the clubhouse. That's, that's usually how that works. So, yeah. Um, anyway, a little too far off topic there. So, um, again, talking points. Let's stick to talking points. So, Alvarez is back. We talked about that. He's been back for a while now, so it's not like breaking news. But Alvarez is back, and he's back to now his usual hitting self. He hit th three home runs on Friday. So, And he was in the middle of all the offense today, it felt like, too. So, Alvarez is back. Looks like he's fully back. I mean, he went like a month and a half without hitting a home run. So doing that was good to see. Now, our three games in Detroit. So first game, I'm going to have to look at this a little bit. So I'm going to say it was Valdez. Valdez, 7 nothing. Valdez went the full nine innings. Complete game shutout. So... That tied the uh, quality start record at 24 consecutive uh, quality starts. Uh, but he was great. Only walked one guy, struck at eight. Offense did a pretty good job scoring their runs. Pena had an RBI single. Bregman had an RBI single. Kyle Tucker had, well, he, no RBI, but double play it scored a run. Tucker, RBI, uh, ground out. Curiel, RBI double. Tucker, RBI or two run sink. So Tucker had a lot of RBIs this game, but the offense just no real big hits, no home runs to speak of. Just, you know, base hits. Seven to nothing. So you walk out of that one good. Next two games weren't great, but the Astros held on. Um, six to three in Tuesday's game. Um, the Astros, I mean, Alvarez had a home run. Tucker and Curiel all had home runs. Hunter Brown also got a second start where he went, I want to say six innings in this one. Yeah, five hits, 200 runs, walked two, struck out six. Not bad. Um, that uh, apparently, is, at least for now, is his last start because Verlander returned to the rotation Friday. So Hunter Brown's sort of the odd man out. And the Astros, I guess, will stick with six, uh, six, a six-man rotation uh, with Javier, I guess. We'll see. They're still in the midst of a consecutive uh, days uh, streak without, you know, consecutive game streak without days off. So that will end starting a week from tomorrow. By the way, it is 9 18. 
September 18th at 11.45 p.m. Thought I'd throw that in there. That's usually something I start with, but yeah. Anyway, bullpen did fine. Naris allowed an earned run, but uh, Montero was good. Presley was good, so yeah. And Hector Naris likes to give up single runs, I feel like. <laughs> but yeah, when that one, we hung on. Wednesday wasn't the pretty game, but they scored two, two, two runs. Um, Tucker hit a home run. And um, yeah, Javier, ha Christian Javier was great here. So Javier, I mean, with six innings, two hits, no runs, eight strikeouts, no walks. He gets the win. Abreu, Stanek, Presley all did their, their job. Abreu allowed an earned run. A home run, so he'd been so great, but I mean, still got the hold. And uh, yeah, Stanek and Presley shut the door there. The end. That was the Wednesday game. And then yeah, this weekend, obviously, you know, off, you know, the five and two is usually the goal. Seven game week, you, you should strive for five and two. That's that's usually the goal. You go six and one, obviously, it's a little bit better. So taking three or four against Oakland, not gonna dive deep here, but. Uh, but Verlander got the back on Friday, came back. That was his first game back. He went five innings. I think the pitch count ran up a little bit, but he didn't allow a hit. Um, but now I'm curious to see. So obviously the big story was Alvarez's three home runs, hitting 34, 35, and 36. Pena also hit his 18th of the year. That was really your offense for that game. Uh, but I'm curious to see. So Verlander only went five innings. Got the win, didn't allow a single hit, struck out nine. That probably is what drove the pitch count, but struck out nine, walked one. Let me see the actual number if I can find it here. It's always dug somewhere deep over here if I can find it. Uh, batting, I got to find the pitching here. Where did he? 79 pitches, so I actually didn't throw that many. But I'm okay with that. I wouldn't, you know, expect him to go... You know, full workload, first game back. But in the bullpen, you know, made time, got, got in two scoreless innings, struck out three, walked a guy, gave up two hits. That's it. That's right. Sounds about right. Stanick, scoreless inning, walked a guy, struck out two. Abreu, scoreless, gave up a hit, struck out two. Yeah. Bullpen's been good, and Abreu's been used a whole lot more, which is something that I like to see. I've, I've, I feel like I've seen less of Phil Maton and a lot more of Brian Abreu, and that is what I wanted to see Dusty Baker do. So, I'll say that. But yeah, Alvarez has got the power back there. Saturday they lost. They were actually up in the game, but they sort of blew it. Yep, yeah, I mean, Urquidy has not been shut down as as, uh, as he was for so long. I mean, the ERA is creeping near 4 at 3.96. Now, if you remember a while back, all the way back in May, his ERA was over 5 at one point. Drove that way down, but he's been a little shaky the last handful of starts, I feel like. So, six earned runs. Does get the loss here. But, yeah, I mean, Arkady, a guy I would have picked to be the third guy, uh, you know, pitching in a playoff series, a third starter, that is, after, you know, Verlander Valdez. But, I don't know yet. I mean, I don't have faith in Garcia. I think Garcia actually is interesting. I could be wrong here. I thought I heard this on the radio yesterday on my way home from work. I think they said something about Garcia being in the bullpen, so I can't confirm that. And if you know the answer, please leave that in the comment section below. But Garcia may be out of the rotation, which I have no problem with, actually. Yeah, he's been sort of a weak link in the rotation. He already has been over four for, feels like, forever now. But if he's pitching out of the bullpen, I, I, I kind of like to see him get some outings out of the bullpen just to see how he does. Because, I mean, that's probably his role uh, come postseason uh, time anyway, so... But I thought I heard uh, Steve Sparks maybe say that on the radio. I don't know if that was per permanent or what, but I, I didn't hear an update. But he might be sort of pitching out of the bullpen for now. I have so many starters. I don't know what they did with Hunter Brown, if he's still even up, to be quite honest with you. I mean, he got two starts there. Both first one was incredibly good. Second one was still quality. Yeah, six, was it six innings, two runs? Yeah, I just said it, so... But, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. Today they blew him out 11-2. to So, I mean, yeah, they bounced back, hit a lot of home runs today. Alvarez, again, hit a home run. So, wait, no, he didn't. I'm lying. 
Alvarez had a big like bases clearing double. The the five run third is really what sparked the offense. Maldonado had a big three run shot. It wasn't really big actually. It was add on runs after they were already up eight to two at the time. So, but the the, the story of today's game was Valdez. So another quality start. So he finally uh, has broken the record, twenty five straight quality starts. So Valdez, um, you know, like we got through six. But the four hits, two earned runs, I mean, that's that's what he's been doing. It wasn't the nine-inning shutout that he had on Monday, but, I mean, again, quality start. 16-5 and five on the year. Verlander's 17-3. and three. Valdez is 16-5. and five. So, and then, yeah, Maytime came in. Montero, Presley, all scoreless to close out the game. So, as I look at things, we'll uh, step back here for a second. Perspective. Um... Astros, I'm I'm ready to just get the season over with by now because they've they I mean they'll they'll wrap up wrap up the division at some point this week, probably tomorrow if everything goes well, if not Tuesday Wednesday we'll see but the division will be wrapped up I would assume at some point this week. Magic numbers two, yeah, but yeah. Alemis Diaz is back. I think the whole team's back. I mean, you're healthy, as healthy as you can get. So the plan is to keep it that way for the next two weeks when the season ends. So, you know, with the lockout, they play, you know, a week into October before the postseason starts. So if I'm looking at things right now, they get got three more weeks of baseball to go. So, but very satisfied with the record. Verlander's back. Alvarez is back. Um, Diaz is back. I really can't think of anybody else. Now, I could be missing somebody. Um, but, I mean, you have the team, basically, that you're going to, you know, roster for the playoffs. So, I, I, yeah, like I'm saying, I, we'll get through these three weeks, but I'm really at a point where I really don't care <laughs> because the Astros aren't really playing meaningful baseball right now. So, We'll get done with the season of three weeks, and then the fun starts. So that's the way I look at things. Um, trying to think. So Tampa Bay for for three, and then Baltimore. So this week will be. Uh, I, I'd be some. There'll be some interest this week because Tampa Bay's fighting for a playoff spot, obviously in a wild card situation. Baltimore sort of fading away fast. I think they're sort of uh, beginning to see the reality that they will not be in the postseason. And then you come back home. And you play Arizona for two, Tampa Bay again, and then Philly to finish off the season. So, I did want to check. Uh, this might bear with me here, but I wanted to check the um, season series. So we, we we talked about the Mariners where they went twelve and seven. We said Texas they went. God, I want to get this mixed up. What do we go? Um, Fourteen and five was our record against Texas. Yeah. 13 and 6 was our record against the Angels. So I got to find out. And I meant to do this before because I hate to get on and then like do this in my head here. So, but I'm going to take this time anyway to check out our season series record against Oakland here. So, you got to look at these things carefully. I can't just skim through it. So, let's see here. We didn't play o- Oakland. We didn't play Oakland until. Shoot, like the last week of May was our first series with them, which we swept. So that's three wins. Played them again. Let's see here. Okay, you gotta look at these things carefully because I could skip over the OAK. <laughs> uh, let's see. We played them again. That was two wins. So they're five and one at this point. They lost two of three. This was right before the All Star break. So they're five and one. That would make them six and three after that. Then they got swept by Oakland, which put them at six and six. However, we did return the favor um, against Oakland, which would put it put us at nine and six. And then the four games we just played, which would put them. At twelve and seven, 
So 12 and 7 against the A's, 12 and 7 against the Mariners, 14 and 5 against the Rangers, and 13 and 6 against the Angels wraps up your individual your divisional play for the year. So yeah. I had to throw, I'm not going to review it. I felt confident in that answer there. So yes. Um uh, the Astros did good against their division. So uh, it's really that simply put. So And still, only time they've been swept all year was when I wasn't even around. I was in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So, uh, But they got swept in Oakland. Three game set. Only sweep all year. Um, so I'm trying to think here. I mean, what else is newsworthy? I haven't really pretty much been through it yet. I talked about Will Smith a little bit. So Will Smith, uh, you know, we were... I was satisfied with Will Smith, the way he's been pitching of late. Uh, one day, let's see his last outing here. Um, not today, maybe Saturday. ERA is still, I think, in the threes. Um, yeah, Will Smith, 3.88. They actually gave him another run, so his little... Five, six, seven outing scoreless streak is over, but the ERA is still decent. Yeah, Dusty likes to use him. I guess you traded for a reason. He's the lone lefty and should be the only lefty that's carried come postseason time. Uh, we should not. I, I, I have no idea. Like Blake Taylor. I don't know if he's healthy. I'm hoping he's healthy and he's just placed in AAA, which is where he belongs. So, anyway, yeah. Um,. I'm going to wrap things up there. I'm coming up at 7. I try to keep these things shorter now. So, anyway, um, we'll have an off day next Monday. So, that'll be the plan when I talk to you next. We'll be next Monday. Uh, it's 11.57. I'm coming up at midnight. i got to get things going here. Um, yeah, they have a – hold on. No, they don't. Hold on. What am I looking at? Yeah, off day. Their, their, their next two off days is Monday and Thursday. So, I'll plan to be talking to you. Um, next Monday. Yeah. Wrap things up there. Love to hear your comments section below, as always. Like the video, share with your friends, Lee Grab, loyal listener. Love you, man. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week.